Hi there, gamers. Boy, do I have a treat for you. Today, I'll be showing you how to get a few easy packs as long as you can handle the excitement that comes from this dangerous adventure. With Mr. Pandaria coming out soon, these little buggers will be great to add to your collection for doing battle against other pets. First, I'll show you where to get yourself a Razor Maw Hatchling. Jump on your flying mount and swing over to the wetlands. Here, we're going in the cave that heads into the mountains on the east side of the map. Now I'm a rogue, so it's pretty easy for me to sneak my way through here without bothering any of the creatures. Now, you used to have to kill the matriarch and hope she had an egg on her, but after getting killed so many times, they learned to finally leave the eggs in the nest. Oh, we're in luck. Normally there'll be a matriarch guarding the nest. Must be out getting some supper, so we can just go up there and pluck that egg up for our own. Now, if you encounter a matriarch guarding her eggs, you better sneak up on the lass and give her a quick shiv right to the base of the neck. That way there's no chance of her sinking those razor-sharp teeth right into ya. Now, we travel all the way over to Kalimdor, and we hit up the Northern Barrens. Up alongside this mountain, we're gonna have to search all around the trace and see where Tack has hidden her nest. Now the raptors around are pretty mellow and shouldn't cause any issues, but Tack is a crazy leaping raptor that will come leaping out of nowhere, so you gotta keep your eyes peeled unless you wanna end up on the dinner menu. Oh, we're in luck. Here's the nest. Right beside this tray hidden in the shade from too much sun and most predators. This next little bugger brings us all the way out in Dustwallow Marsh, just east of the Bloodhoof Village. This is a unique horde of raptors. See all these blood fens? Each one of these are females and only mate with Dot. Dot keeps it that way by constantly patrolling the area, killing off any competition that comes his way. Just look at him. Ain't he amazing? With his bright colors and his incredible speed, he sends out the statement, you better back up off this area. Or well, even the natives that set up their village right here don't want to mess with him, which is why sometimes, just like this time, we find his nest so close to their village because he knows that they don't dare mess with it. Now we're going to head almost all the way south into Angora Crater. This is the toughest to find of them all. Not only do the Ravisaw Hatchlin make for a great pet, but the eggs are also sold at high prices to be eaten. A Ravisaw egg, when cooked properly, is an absolute delicacy amongst many, including myself. Not only will you have to compete against others looking, but you have to watch out for the Devil Saw. This giant T-Rex is a major grump, so stay out of his way. Oh, would you look at that. That there green raptor, she's the matriarch. She's assigned to take care of all the eggs till they're ready to hatch. These crowns are packed with little nests, but you'll have to find the right one to get yourself an egg that's useful. Raptors be a clever bunch, so you have to search all around these trees and even sometimes in between the large roots that come up to find them. Well, here's the egg, and that'll be the last one for today. So this concludes our adventure. This adventure may be over, but I've got some great footage from my times over in the beta lands, so be sure to continue checking back to our channel, and I'll show you where to catch all kinds of great critters useful for battling with. 